Was Lewis Carroll on drugs when he wrote Alice in Wonderland? In the 1960s, rumours began to surface that author Lewis Carroll was under the influence of drugs when he wrote Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The rumours came about because of the strange and confusing imagery that appears in the book. Songs like Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit added fuel to the fire with lyrics like You've just had some kind of mushroom and your mind is moving low. But is there any truth to the rumours? Well, let's find out. England, 1862 Lewis Carroll, real name Charles Dodgson, was an author and mathematics tutor at Oxford University. One summer afternoon in 1862, Carroll took a leisurely boat trip with 10-year-old Alice Liddell and her sisters. To pass the time on the trip, Carol made up the story of a plucky young girl named Alice who finds herself caught up in the topsy-turvy world of Wonderland. Several times in the story, Alice drinks a potion or eats something which changes her size. This is a recurring theme throughout the book. There's nothing unusual about potions in children's stories. We see them in Snow White, The Little Mermaid, Asterix and Obelix, and even My Little Pony. They're used by authors as a plot device to progress the story or to motivate the characters. But why was Alice always changing size? It emerged some years after the book came out that Carol himself suffered from a disorder that altered his visual perception. The condition actually became known as Alice in Wonderland Syndrome because sufferers find it hard to judge the size and distance of objects. In a famous scene in the book, Alice meets a caterpillar who's sitting on a mushroom and smoking a hooker pipe. He tells her that eating the mushroom will change her size. Some have said this is a clear reference to drugs. A pipe can be used to inhale drugs and some mushrooms produce hallucinogenic effects if eaten. However, at this point in the story, anything in Wonderland that you eat or drink changes your size. So the mushroom itself is not particularly unusual. The use of mushrooms as a recreational drug didn't really become common until the 1970s. But it is possible that Carol knew that mushrooms could have a mind-altering effect. However, the reference in the book has nothing to do with recreational drug use. At most, it acknowledges the existence of the mushrooms. It's also more likely that the caterpillar's hooker pipe contained tobacco or shisha rather than a stronger drug like opium or cannabis. There's no doubt there are several bizarre visual scenes in the book. At one point, a baby Alice is holding turns into a piglet in her hands. Later, her neck grows out of all proportion. There's also the famous Cheshire Cat who disappears leaving only a grin. And there's also the concept of time distortion. The March Hare, the Dormouse and the Mad Hatter are trapped in a perpetual tea time. Time distortion is something that's also experienced by drug users. However, no matter how absurd and fanciful these ideas are, they're not evidence of a drug-induced author. The book was written in a style called literary nonsense, which relies on confusing images and wordplay rather than a logical plot structure. The style is fanciful, memorable and delightful, but it's also meant to be absurd. And while Alice in Wonderland is odd, it does follow a narrative with returning characters and connected themes that twist and turn and eventually resolve. As for Carol himself, we do know that at one point he took opium for a toothache. However, there is no evidence to suggest Lewis Carroll was under the influence of drugs when he wrote Alice in Wonderland. It's simply well-written nonsense and that's exactly why we love it.